Hello everybody and welcome once again to Lost Souls. Between episodes I've actually been reasonably busy. <clears throat> and I don't really know. Malaka told me I can make an auto compressor but I can't find the recipe for that. So we'll look at that. The standard recipe is this one. A block of iron with some um, uh, crafting tables in the corners. I think that's the right recipe. But that doesn't produce anything. Also... If you look for drum in here, you don't see a recipe for drum for the iron drum. But that recipe does work okay. So that's basically the recipe for that. One cauldron and six pieces of iron. It's expensive. Now, I want to use this because, to be honest with you, keep having to empty this out all the time is a bit of a pain. <laughs> so let's just turn that off so it doesn't push more stuff into there. Good. Then I can break this. Pickaxe, yeah. And then put the drum up there, like that. I'm going to click that where it's gone to. I can get it. Right, so that's now emptied out. And we can push it back around again, and it should start to fill up again. Yeah, good. So, now I also figured out what I was doing wrong with this um, levels. This was a tip from Zero Life to up, up good these levels. And here it says level on the top right hand side on the border it says level spent. So for example combat. Let's go to combat here and I've got a random what's this say? So I need random crits. Current level's five and that's the maximum I think we can go to. This one here, four of ten, we can increase this. Now the cost here is thirty seven. So we'll use that one. So I've now got level spent 37, and it says at the bottom I've got 57 levels to spend. So archery. I can't increase this because I haven't got any more levels. What about this one? And I can't do this one because that's also 31. Stealth would be nice. Nope, I can't do any of these because they're all too... Ah, this one I can do. I call it level 13. So now I've got 57, 50 levels out of my 57. And when I click done, it actually takes the levels off my bottom there. So now I've got seven levels left. So that's how that works. It got me going for a while. So anyway, that mob farm's doing really well. So, But I've been busy. As you can see on my health bar or my hearts bar, I've now got three yellow hearts because I went out and did a, a few more... Um, blight mobs and of course that ex you can also check here on oh, my um difficulty level has gone up a bit as well <laughs> well it's always going up isn't it the further you explore the more it goes up now here i've got some tin ore and some copper ore chunks let's put let's put those in there like that and these this is actually going through this ore crusher now, I, I should be able to speed this up, but I didn't see any speed upgrades when I put some speed upgrades in there. Now, with the ore crusher, you have a chance of getting more than one piece. So we get two pieces. I mean, get more than two pieces per ore. So we should end up with more. It's also got another feature, and I wonder if I can demonstrate. That's cobalt, crushed iron, and iodine. I can. Good. Normally, when you put Ardite and cobalt into a smeltery you get um, manilium. Well, let's do it like this. So I've got lots of manilium in here already. So let's put one ingot of cobalt. And these smelt very fast by the way. And one ingot of crushed ardite. And you'll see what happens. See I get this pure cobalt metal ore. And then they get this pure cobalt and they get this pure ardite and they have not mixed together. So that's actually quite a good trick as well. So you can mix things like copper and, um, copper and lead together quite safely and you can then export this out. In fact, I think I was probably making manilium uh, sharpening kits because I've been going through this like crazy. <laughs> as you can look at this thing now, I've got reinforced four on it and it's adapt. I don't have any more. What have I got to get? Another 2,000 or so. Just under 2,000 levels to get up to expert. And then when I'm expert, I can then add the fifth reinforcement and make this unbreakable, which is the goal. 
Um, so let's put the rest of this into the smeltery here. Oh, that was control shift click put everything. That's great. And then let's start to smelt this out. In fact, what I'm going to do, what have I got in here? Yes, I've got the sharpening kit. Let's just click this here. And it'll actually make all those sharpening kits that we've got. So I think there was three, wasn't it? And then it stops when it reaches the end of that. So let's take this out and put into here the ingot cast. And turn this on again. And then everything will just come through. You see, now I've got these extra three because I'm going through them so fast. And you see the iodite's coming, the cobalt's coming out, and also you'll find the iodite's coming out as well. So that was that. Another thing I created was this. <laughs> I created an anvil. And I'll show you why in a second. I've also created this, the Null Dank Docking Station. And I put it on top of a hopper. First of all, I had it on some uh, item ducts with a server. But it worked first time, and second time I did it, it didn't do anything. Now what you do with this thing, the recipe for the docking station is fairly straightforward. Let's have a quick look at the docking station. So I'm, I haven't built it. So it's four emeralds, four pieces of um, redstone and an obsidian will make this docking station. So what you do is you put your dank null on it like this. And then you, sh you right click it, and then you've got your items in here. So basically what I've said here is do not extract, which is the default. On this one I've simply right clicked it and it goes to extract all but one. So for example, they're all, basically they've all been done because I've got another bricks I've got new dot, do not extract. So for example if I change right click this, it says, huh, it didn't work. Hold on, I have to control click it, sorry. Control click this. Extract all but one, extract all but 16. So, extract all but 64, extract all. In fact, I'll have it with it. Do not extract, extract all but one. So they've all gone out there, and then that they're in here like this. So we can put those safely away. In fact, I'll keep those with me. I'll put those in the dock. Dunk mill. So let's just do that again. Right click this with an empty hand, and then um, control click this. So I get to do not extract. <laughs> of course it puts them in there. There we go. We can take those two out of oh four out of that and put those back into this. And to get it back in, we shift right click it and we got it back in again. So we just drop those on the floor and pick, walk over them, pick them up. Like that. Very good tool. I was having trouble with the armor I was showing you last time, and I'm sure I'm doing this in a really bad way. But, as you can see, oh, with the skeleton schools, are they full up already, or is it just not extracted them? No, they haven't pulled up. It should be 100 and 512, I think. Yeah, that goes out of there. And another book, Sweeping Edge 2. I think that's a pretty good one. What have we got here? Diamond Boots. In fact, I've got some diamond stuff. What I've decided to do. So we've got here. It's rare. Multi-jump 3, depth strider 3, and fire protection 3. This one here is unbreaking and protection 3. Same for the chest plates. We've got blast protection 4, fire protection 4. These are actually pretty awesome things. What have we got here? Leggings, fire protection 4, and breaking 3, fire protection 4. So they're the same. Helmet, fire protection for aqua infinity and unbreaking three. I think probably the best one of these is probably blast protection for. What have we got on me? I've got some diamond. So they're unbreaking fire protection for. I'd like some protection rather than fire protection, but uh, I haven't got them. So I'll use the ones like that. Put those up. Sorry, where do I do that? Ones I wanted was this one, I think. Multi jump. I don't need depth driver yet. I don't think. I don't think they will work on lava, but I'm not 100% sure. So let's get some diamonds. Let's get some more XP. Amazing, doesn't take long to get 30 levels, does it? 
Let's come along here. Let's repair these things. Enchantment cost three. Enchantment cost four. Use 10 diamonds, but diamonds aren't actually a problem in this pack, which is great. So let's take let's take everything off that I've got. And put these on. So now I've got a full set of shields, which is great. And I'm gonna put these back away. So what I've decided to do, I'm not gonna keep this stuff. I'm gonna either I'm going to reuse some of it for what I can, and then the rest of it I'm going to just chop or throw away. So for instance the golden helmets I just repair and reuse those for the beheading in there. So that's what I'm gonna do with that one. So right. Next thing I did. I created an advanced item collector here. Yeah. And you can set the radius. Not only you can set the radius, you can also put an item filter in this because it's random things. And the item filter I've put in here is one soul urn and one hellfire dust. Those are whitelisted, so it's only going to pick up hellfire dusts and soul urns. So I put that back in here like this. And in here I've got a mechanical user and it's got use item on block and I've got six urns in there and I'm only using the left hand slot and right clicking it okay and you can see there's one already underneath this let's go and get some ground netherrack 58 I probably haven't got enough I think 56 divides by 8 it does so I just stand up on here like this now just press E and just drop those in. I sometimes pick up the bits and pieces myself. Seven eight fifty six. I can drop all of these in, can't I? So, in here now I should have six plus the one seven soul urns and all this uh, hellfire dust. So I've got those seven urns in there which is that's now empty and I didn't waste any so I can come along here <laughs> that was careless go past the uh, I put those in like that and that will start to make iron soil forged deal sorry I need one more iron ingot don't I while we're over here now let's have a look at this how are we doing here so I've got 48 from the 21 so I should have had 42 and 40 copper. I don't expect the copper's finished yet, is it? No, it's still got some more to go. So it's got another three. So it's going to get at least the same, I think. 46. 49, I think that'll turn out to be. So we've gained a little bit from this. We should have got 42. So we gained six from here. And we're going to gain from this one. How much are we going to gain? We're going to gain at least four. No, sorry, it's going to be 49, isn't it? So it's going to be f 7. So 7 ingots more, which is actually 48. Oh, I know it's not finished yet. It's got, oh, got an extra one. So it's going to go with 50. Or 51. Probably 50. Yeah. So that is a... A little bit of an advancement so it was worth making that machine after all oh wrong place let's go and put this over here and safe i can put these safely into there that was control if you click and put some in both in that's pretty good actually so we're out of this we'll get some copper coming through now i've got a reasonable amount of iron in there so that's good what else has happened over here? That's getting a bit full. <laughs> but I can turn it off now. So what I've done here, as I've said that, so a redstone signal turns this off. And because I'm using a... That, sorry. Yes, it's off with a redstone signal on. Yeah, I think that's the way it works. I'm basically in here. These transfer nodes always turn off when you give them register signal. 
And because this block's powered, this also gets powered. So I basically do that like that, and it stops. There will be no more outputting of items. But there is one thing I want to try. I don't know whether it's going to work. It's been on my mind. Lots of things in this mod pack change when the player puts stuff down. But they don't always change when the machine puts it down. So I've got a stone drum with some water. And just, I'm just wondering whether I can put water down with this mechanical user. Or whether it evaporates. If it evaporates, it evaporates. don't really care. So there we've got that one. I'm going to have to move this one out of here, aren't I? Okay, let's just see if this works. Turn it on. Oh no, it did. It did actually evaporate. Okay, let's put that back over there and I can put that on. So that didn't work, but that was worth a try. I got nothing to lose except for one bucket of water. Right now, so much to do. So what I'd like to do today, as I said, that my little base tool is taking a bit longer than I thought it was going to take. There's some applied... Um, no, I get, get, keep calling it applied, don't I? I really don't mean applied. Let's take this off here. Actual edition stuff. So the first thing we need to make for actual editions, maybe I should even claim the quests, what do you reckon? Tell you what, I'm going to put this book in here. Along with the three, <laughs> the three wireless booster cards, infinite wireless, amazing. Anyway, we saw that last time how one got dropped from an Enderman. So actual editions. Let's have a look at this. We've got the book already. Oh, sorry, I typed that in wrong. Come I? I need the at because that's one of the things that comes through free actually additions that will actually do some stuff it is isn't it in fact i think there's a quest for it we've got to make the atomic reconstructor first i know that so we've got an iron casing so we need to make two more sets of unstable nug ingots okay let's i need 18 sticks 42 21 18 good so we can make those unstable ingots that's the first thing to do so it's the atomic reconstructor let's just type in reconstructor and we get restrict the stuff down a bit don't we so we need this so we need this so we need these let's go and put those into the stroked crucible I'm missing one piece of iron. I've got one piece of iron in here. I can put that in the can't I? And these. Put those there. So I'll wait for a few seconds and we'll get that. Oh, of course. I actually got all the materials ready for the gear. So let's do that one as well. And then we can complete all of the quests for um, better with mods. Wrong one. Not slow for these, let's get the stuff out. So we need two of these. We need six gears, which we made before, and we need 11 pieces of soul forged steel. I think we'll do the trick. So let's have a look at the recipes for this. There's only 14 pages, so it's probably quicker to go this way than to look for gear box. Here we go. Click it in. Actually, I need eight pieces of that. So we now have our steel gearbox and we've got our quest upgrade gearbox completed. So let's go and have a look at the quests. So that's better with mods. We completed two of those quests. Well, not that one. Oh, haven't done this, that one either. Let's do that. Choice reward steel gearbox, obviously. <laughs> that was so expensive. Done. This one, slime balls. I said I don't understand this one at all. But slime balls are actually fairly easy to make. Oh, let's go and do that. I think in this chest here I've got some rice. 
Here it is. 50 pieces of rice. Let's have a look at the uses of this stuff. Oh, 15 pages, not quite what I wanted, but there's a... I have to make something with a pair of them. I forgot what it is, so I can't look it up straight away. Here we go. Rice dough. So make 25 rice dough. Not 15 rice dough, because I... Ah, oh, 32. <laughs> and we need a bucket of water. Let's get a bucket of water here. Let's put the bucket of water down the middle here. Give a little cross of these. I think that's the recipe. We get four slime balls. Let's go and get another bucket of water. We need... We need to make nine, don't we? Oops, wrong one. Try again. So I need to do this three times, but no big deal. Got plenty of water. So now we've got 12. With those 12, we'll make a slime block. I think that's the recipe for slime block. It is indeed. Take the slime block, put it there, split it back to normal slime poles. So I think that's the way to do that. So actually, let's just complete this quest and then we got that one out of the way as well. So we need to do that twice more. Anyway, I'm filling time, aren't I, while I'm doing the other thing. Seven. So we need to do one more time and we'll get enough for the, the 16 slime balls that we need for that quest. I just don't know whether this is the right way to do it or not. It seems very odd. Okay. So we can do that a few times and we get some more samples. So let's just craft that up. Don't ask me why I came here. And these slime balls you can use as just ordinary slime balls anyway. They're interchangeable. Slime balls! Fantastic. So let's go and claim these quests that we've completed. F4. Done that one. Claim it. Done. So that whole ch that whole quest line is now complete. At least one of them is. So um, Hammers, I haven't done that one yet. Tinkering. I want to do actual additions, and I think there's um, some stuff for that somewhere. Here we go. An iron casing. So let's do the iron casing then. Oh, we might as well open the quest because I'm oh, too. Okay. Not too bad. Could have been worse. Could have been five walruses. Which is obviously one of those jokey things. Let's get these two ingots out of here now. While well, I'm here, I just put these back into this. And it goes around a second time. What are we missing? Chopping blocks. I think there's a different recipe for chopping blocks. There's stone. That gives us six, and we need. Ah, oh, four is fine. That's good. Iron plates. Let's get those two iron plates going as well. Let's do that in the smeltery this time, because I didn't do that last time in the smeltery. Let's turn that off, because that's probably empty. Yep. I got the copper and the thing. So let's take the plate cast out of here. My own inventory is getting full again. Like that. Let's put two iron into there. Let's put the ingot cast back onto that. So while those are doing that, in fact, yeah, I can turn that on. They'll end up in there. Let's get that stone. That was six pieces of stone, wasn't it? It 
it was just like that. Drop in box. What else do we need? That's basically one block of black quartz. We've got black quartz. It might not be there. Because I did do some sieving. Probably didn't even show you that, did I? So black quartz. Where would it be? Second one along. Here we go. And we need one block, so we need four pieces of that. Great. So what was left? Just those two iron plates. Which probably should be in here, which they are. And I've got no space. Yep, I knew I was getting a bit full. Let's put the bucket up there. We can take this place out. And then we make some space when we've done everything else anyway. I've got to put this, the slime balls and the dough and the stuff into there. Because we don't need that just yet. So now I can bake the iron casing. Fantastic. Now what do I need for the next one? Constantine plates. That's no big deal. Let's do those, get those going. We made some of that before. I need four plates. I can simply go around to put those into the smeltery, just like I did. I'll just get smelted and we'll come back with those. What else do we need? Ingots, wasn't it? The blocks we got, and four on ingots. So they're just those couple of constant time plates. So let's have a look at that quest. Let's claim it. Loot chest done. And open up the loot chest. Sandwiches and some cupboards. More cupboards, okay. They're not too bad, these cupboards actually. Let's put them up here. They're empty. I should really close these when they're not being used because they get in the way, but I still want to literally this one. So hopefully those are done now. Let's go and get those. Well, probably not all of them done. Oh yes, they're all done. Good. So we can now make the actual additions. Atomic Reconstructor. Fantastic. Quest complete. Where is it now? Claim done. What do we need to make next? Laser relays. This is all. Okay, next one basically is either laser relays or the Empara. Both of which are actually quite good, but this one's actually quite expensive, the Empara, I think. So I won't do that just yet. I do need the, the reconstructor though, and I think it needs power. So let's go and put that down. Also look at this chest as well. Haha. <laughs> um, well they are too <laughs> got this. I don't think that counts towards the quest though, because I probably haven't crafted it. So I need some power. And power is here. And I really need to break that out somewhere. In fact. Can I put a laser relay on this? Oops. I can. But are there oh, something showing up there? What was it? Oh yeah. Well, we could probably put that down somewhere like this. Um, tell you what, let's put it on the Empower itself. Or the Atomic Reconstructor, sorry. Now, which is the business end of this thing? Ah, oh, so it is the green end here, okay. Now, I should be able to put this on top of this. And then link those together. And I think I need a tool for that. I think it has a special wrench that we have to build. So let's have a look at um, maybe wrench. Indeed, a laser wrench. So we need two Inori crystals and one advanced coil, which is a basic coil, which is filaments. Filaments, okay, we need to make four filaments. So let's get on and do that. Filaments. 
four pieces of string, isn't it? That's why I came in here. Four pieces of redstone and four pieces of glowstone. I probably haven't got any glowstone. I've got two and plus one glowstone block. I have to put that in the pulverizer and four pieces of redstone. And I don't have any redstone there. Got some redstone ore chunks. We'll put, use those. My goodness. I'm going to have to do some more sieving of dust. So the pulverizer is here, isn't it? Okay, let's put that one in there. And I think the one, the best one for this is probably at the moment it's going to be this one. So I've got the uses of that. You can make a block. That would be very bad. So let's go to our pulverizer. It'll give us six and a chance of that. So we're going to get 12 out of that. I think that's probably the best. I don't think we can do that on the orchestra. We can try it there. No, it doesn't work. We need four of those anyway, so we could actually leave this. There we need filaments. I think they go into a straightforward cauldron. Uh, cruci yeah, cauldron. Oh, I've got wool string in there already. But I'm not 100% sure. Let me just double check that. Cauldron, yes. With the yellow flame. And that's this one. So. Four of those plus that, and it starts to cook. So we'll get four filaments in there. Got some more leather. I don't need for the time being. I don't think I'm going to wait for those because we're going to, it's going to take a while. The rest of it's gold nuggets, isn't it? Oops. Oh. While I'm thinking about that, we can make some hardened flux duct. That's how we do. I'm not sure how we do that. Let's have a look at that one. That one. So we need some invert nuggets. I think we've got to make six. And invite and get three pieces of red, and this one will do. <laughs> Says that. Do we need just a piece of glass? Okay. I'm going to run out of redstone again. And I've only got eight pieces of redstone. Probably haven't got enough redstone. Brilliant. I'm sure I've got no more redstone ore in here. I don't see any. Oh, that's a nuisance. Oh yes, I've got some. <laughs> Good. Take a couple of pieces of that. Invite ingots and iron nuggets. Invite, we should have some invite. Did make some. There we got two invites. Good. So right, the reason I'm doing this is a quest. So we get six of those, and it's um. Let's have a look which quest it is. It's actually done that one. So that'll be in thermal because it's thermal foundation question it's this one and basically we've completed everything I only need one okay good I'll make three then so we got those three so I'm missing redstone only one piece of redstone wow because I really want to use the other one for doing this to be honest with you the uh, the atomic reconstruct uh, the crusher from actually additions because you get double. Oh, I did get some cinnabar at the end. Good. Let's try that. Yep, it's got leather in that. I only want one of those. So we've now completed the quest hard and let's go and claim that reward. Hello, chest. 
I've got space on either chest. No, I haven't. It's sitting on the floor. Oh, fantastic. Let's put that in the way. I think I picked it up again. Let's pick these away. Let's put the iron. I don't need the iron with me. I don't need those. I've got a few things I don't really need. I've just been picking stuff up as I've been going along, haven't I? Put the tan liver in there. So four steel can go in here. So we're actually making a little bit of progress with that. That we don't need. And that will do for the time being. I think I've got enough now space to open this up. Huh. Okay. Tell you what I'm going to do with those. Don't have any use for them. So now those filaments should be made. Four. Oh, fantastic. I'm actually dying to get my thing. We need that for those, don't we? Gosh, I bet we're going to need a lot of those things. So we need this one. Which we need this one. So we need this one. And we get our basic coil. Try again. I should be able to make this. I've got enough gold nuggets. Great. And we should be able to make these. Now, the Indori crystals are. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. I've got to use the atomic reconstructor with two iron ingots to get that. So I need the atomic needs needs power. So let's see if we can actually make give it some power. And normally, what you do is you put a pressure plate in front of this and just drop the items onto it. Power. I don't think I've got enough space uh, range for that. Maybe we can do it. Let's have a look what we've got in our bag of holding, because we've got a few already made, I think. Oh, we've got 17, 20. That should be enough, shouldn't it? Let's bring this down over here. It connects, so that's already connected. That makes no difference. I'm going to be... I'd put it there so that I could do it that way around, but I don't think it makes a difference, does it? Yeah, that's getting power in. Oops, oh, I've got to turn it off, haven't I? Ah, okay. Because I was going to do those things. So I need to. What do I have to do with this? Shift right, click it. Uh, a redstone torch to toggle, okay. Redstone torch, I've got to go and get a piece of stick. I thought I'd just. Oh, of course I did, yes. It's using to pull that power. I remember this. Oops, just turn that chest around. Didn't want to do that. Sometimes I actually keep a resident torch in my bag. I didn't think about that. But I do tend to use them up. Actually, while we're here, let's go and get two pieces of planks and make a pressure plate. So it's done torch first, don't I? God, it's still charging away. Right, pulse. So now it's on pulse mode, great. So we can now put this down here like that. And then we can come along here and activate this again. I think we can do it from this side. Good. Zero up. I've got some be zero off on that one. Fantastic, it's charged up. So all we now do is we take our two pieces of iron and just drop them down. Hopefully we get two nori crystals. We do fantastic. So we're getting there. <laughs> what are you just trying to do with that thing? So it was like this, wasn't it? And then we get a uh, laser wrench. Of course, I've connected these two together now, but I suppose having said that, it's probably easier to do it this way. Now, I think, what do we have to do with this? Hold a compass to modify. Laser wrench stored. And there we go. 
So that will be actually also charging this up. So I can then remove this safely, but of course it's already charged. So shame. But that's quite nice. I like that. So we need a compass. In fact, we need a compass because there is the last thing I want to make today. Have oh, I got enough redstone? I'm about to use redstone. I've got just enough redstone, I think, for a compass. Oh, one piece of redstone. Okay, fine. I think I don't need to care about the direction of that, so put those back in there. And the one I'm going to make is this one, a nature's compass. So I need four pieces of wood and four twigs. That's no big deal. I've probably got things I want to throw away. I don't know if it's going to work with these. We'll take them anyway. But if it doesn't work with those, it'll work with iron. Um, oak saplings. Or the other, four pieces of wood. And if you've not seen this before, it's quite a neat little device. I wonder. Oh, it does work good. Because there's very little use for these, except for to plant more stuff, and we get a nature's compass. Now, oh, it completed a quest. I didn't know there was a quest called Biomes. So right-click this, and you basically got different types of um, alien forests. These are all of the sort by name. Okay, sort by base height. Height David variation, sort by temperature, sort by rainfall. I wonder if there's a sort by. Okay, there is no sort by name. So, what you can do with this, for example, dark forest. There aren't really dark forests in here, will there be? There'll be. What's around here that we've got? Deep ocean, deep swamp, desert hills, dreadlands. Excellent. Most of these are ones for the fire swamp but you know that won't be they've got nothing to do with rain <laughs> or snow fungi forest how about that one top block type can i sort by the top block type indeed i can so what was that one Because the top block type was nether, nether, so we can find stuff that's in the nether. Probably the wrong order. Cool. Let's search for nether then. Oh, I just press search. And that's so good because it's not going to find anything. Try that again. Oh, it changed the sort, didn't it? Top block. So top blocks, air, space, yes. So we need to go down quite a long way. Can I go down faster? <laughs> this is going to take a while. What I'm going to do is to see if we can find something. Because what we need to do is to find some of those sheep. Well. A long way down. I wonder if I can page down fast. Does page down work? No. Can we scroll? Oh, we can scroll that probably faster. Ice, moon turf, mycelium, netherrack, fungi forest. We don't actually have that many. We've got fungi forest, m hell, and hell. Okay, let's just do this one for instance. And you press search. And it tells you the distance is 746, and that's the nearest fungi forest. Um, and then it points to the direction you've got it in. So if we look at this, so it's over there. So it's in that direction, which isn't south southwest, isn't it? So that's how that works. But since we completed that quest, let's go and see if we can find it. <laughs> Oh, I haven't claimed any of these. Look at that. Let's claim that one. Let's claim this one. 
Let's open up those loot chests. I'm a bit full. I'll tell you what we'll do is put the, the stuff back in the bag here. Have I got enough space? Probably not. Let's just put those trees away. Maybe I have now. They'll probably be useless to use, but sort of... Oh! Diamond door. Not too bad. Oh, and some gears and some wooden necklace. That's actually not too bad either. It wouldn't to me. Shame they weren't steel. Let's put the diamond door in here. So, that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Learned something new, whatever. So, until next time, when I'm going to have to carry on with actual editions until we get to the crusher. Maybe I can do it straight away. I don't know. We'll find out. Anyway, until next time, bye for now. <laughs>